Hey guys, um, I wanted to make another video because I haven't made one in a little while and I'm just breastfeeding Ava so I'm going to try and do it as quick as possible. Um, sometimes she doesn't like when I talk, she wants me to be quiet. Um, like she needs everything to be quiet. I can't really breastfeed her in noisy areas so I'll try and do it quickly. Um, so I'm a little bit frustrated because I just made a video and it was like 10 minutes long and then when I went to publish it or whatever um, it wouldn't upload so it's kind of frustrating um, so I just wanted to say it was three months old um, she's healthy she was weighed recently um, a few days ago and she was 11 pounds 2 ounces um, so she's getting up there um, slowly but surely um, I think a lot of it's because she's growing so long that she doesn't have a chance to really fill out so she's still not as chunky as she probably should be, but she's gonna. Um, I'm gonna be as soon as I get my new apartment settled out, I'll do a tour, um, and some other things. Um, I just recently went on the mini pill. Um, I had been on tricycline for like um seven years before I got pregnant. Um, so um that one always worked, but um. Yeah, I guess my doctor said that um, you can't go on the normal pill when you're breastfeeding because it affects your breast milk. Apparently it depletes your milk supply. So um, the only one that you can do if you don't want to do IUD or the shot is you do the mini pill. So I'm on the mini pill. Um, started it probably four or five days ago. Um, the only thing with that is that it just has, I think it just has progesterone or maybe it just has estrogen, I can't remember. It only has one of the, of the two types of hormones in, in pills. Um, and so because of that, it's not as effective as the normal pill, so you have to take it every single day at the exact same time, whereas the other ones you have a little bit more of a window. Um, and you also take it every single day. There's no week of sugar pills or any of that. Um, and so I've heard that you don't usually bleed on this pill, which if that's the case, that's pretty cool. But, um, anyways, I'm on that one, at least for the time being, at least when I'm breastfeeding. I might go back to the normal one when I'm not breastfeeding. Um... Hi, Benton. <laughs> yeah, I'm just resting here a little bit. Um, it's pretty crazy that she's three months old already. Um, she, I just want to say this in the video so I don't ever forget. Um, she, July 1st was the first time she ever cooed or talked or whatever, um, and it was so adorable. And July 8th was the first time she laughed, and it was like a really big belly laugh, and it was so funny. I ended up crying. I thought it was really cute. Um, and I have some stuff written down here. I didn't want to forget. Um, yeah, so I'm still breastfeeding. I'm still feeding her formula, for those of you who have been following me. Um, I used to feed her 12 ounces a day. I've got her down to about 4 ounces on most days. Some days I have to give her 8 if she's extra fussy or um, impatient or if she's going through a growth spurt, which she is right now. Um, so, yeah, when she goes through growth spurts, I have to give her more because um, some of you might have this problem, but because I had to give her bottles at a young age, um, because I had mastitis, was on antibiotics, and she lost weight, so I had to supplement her as well as breastfeed. Because of that, um, she's kind of become a lazy eater, is what they call it, and... Um, if my if I'm really engorged or just really full, um, no problem. She latches and feeds no problem. But then when it gets to the point where they're not as it's not coming out as fast, she just doesn't really want to eat. Um, she doesn't want to have to work for it basically. So she'd much rather prefer a bottle, which is really unfortunate because it makes breastfeeding really difficult. Um, if I'm out and um, you know I've been breastfeeding her all day and I'm just not as full, she just won't latch. Um, no matter how hard I try, she just will not latch. So I have to give her a bottle because I can't let her, you know, starve, obviously. So um, it's just been a really long journey and it's still very difficult even though she's three months old. Um, I'm very adamant on breastfeeding her. I could very easily just, you know, say, you know, I don't want to go through this anymore it's just so difficult and I could just say you know I'm just gonna feed you formula it would be really easy to do that because I know the formula that works well for her and um, 
you know, I could just do that, but I don't want to. I want to feed her. I want to breastfeed her. My goal is to exclusively breastfeed, but I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, even if I do end up weaning her off formula, I do not think that I will ever wean her off bottles because there's those days where she's extra fussy or extra hungry and the breast just isn't doing it for her and she needs it from the bottle because here's the thing, if you have a, hold a bottle upside down, she doesn't have to work for it. It's just going to drip out. Even if it's slow, it does drip out and she doesn't have to work for it. But with the breast, it doesn't do that, obviously, um, and she has to work for it. So, um, yeah, babies, unfortunately, if they are used to bottles, they become a lazy feeder. Sometimes they do. Only some some, some babies do, some don't. Um, but they get used to the bottle and used to not having to really work for it, and obviously they prefer that. Um, so it's just made it really, really difficult to breastfeed her. I mean, I still... I still struggle with her, and she's 13 weeks old, and I'm just really envious of my sister and my sister-in-law because they both have babies, they're both breast, both breastfeeding, um, and you know, their baby's crying, they just latch them right on, no problem, don't have to, you know, don't have to um, struggle with their baby to get them to latch properly. I recently, about a month ago, finally got Ava off the nipple shield, so that was one very big milestone for us. She had been using a nipple sh shield for um, two months, and I really didn't want to use it anymore. In the beginning, I used it because the nurses in the hospital, I had spoken to every nurse and every consultant possible, and not a single one could help me to get Ava to latch. It was absolutely impossible. Um, this might be too much information, information but um, my nipples aren't inverted, but they were, were, not anymore, were flat when I first had her, um, and coupled with the fact that I obviously have a large chest, and she has a very small mouth, um, and her bottom lip used to go, like, in like that, um, it was just not happening, it was so hard to get her to latch, yeah. she just wouldn't, um, so... Yeah, I mean, I used the nipple shield because she would not latch, and there was no way I was feeding her just formula, so that's the only way I could do it. But, um, yeah, I eventually weaned her off a nipple shield. It took about a week, and it was very difficult. Um, but eventually, we got her off that, so that's great. Now I'm trying to wean her off formula um, because I don't need to give her formula anymore because she's at a good weight and it's stable. Um, but it's just that she's so fussy um, that I need to keep giving her bottles. So, I mean, really, I could just pump and not give her formula, and it'd be the same thing. It would be just fine. But I have a manual pump, and it's just its really frustrating. I wish I had an electric, because I would definitely do it. Um, manuals are kind of annoying. Um, so, anyways, that's a long rant about that. But I'm still breastfeeding. It's so difficult. Let me know if you are going through the same thing. If you have troubles, like... I just, I never imagined that I would have such problems breastfeeding, and I just get really envious and jealous of other mothers that don't really have problems breastfeeding. Um, Ava only really likes breastfeeding if we're laying down, and there's just so many things, um, you know, I don't know why, but I just, I really don't want to get up, give up on breastfeeding, I really don't. Um, my, my goal is to breastfeed for six months. Um, even though I'm not exclusively, I want to breastfeed for six months at least. And then when I get to that point, I'm going to say, you know, eight or nine months, and then I'm going to say a year. I would like to breastfeed over a year. I'd like to breastfeed for maybe a year and a half. But at this point, I don't want to say, you know, a year because that seems impossible to me right now. So that's why I'm setting short-term goals because it's been so difficult. I don't want to overwhelm myself. So I'm going to say, you know, three more months, I want to make it, I want to make it to at least six months. I don't want to give up before then. Um, and hopefully, hopefully if I have more children, it won't be this difficult. I don't know why. I don't know, but it's just very frustrating sometimes. Um, so anyways, um, I had an ultrasound the other day because I had a cyst when I was pregnant that was nine centimeters. And, um, I won't find out until my appointment with my OBGYN next month, August 23rd, I think. I'll find out then. Um, I was told that it's benign, so that's good. Um, but I really hope that I don't have a cyst anymore, because if I do, I'm going to have to go back for a surgery and get it removed, and I just don't want to deal with that. So anyways, um, that's that. Um, 
I'm going to be doing, yeah, I'll do a tour of our place when it gets kind of a little bit more set up because I just moved in here recently. Um, I'm going to do a bottle review. I'm going to do a postpartum belly and weight video. Um, I'm going to do an update on Ava and, you know, how long she is, how big her head is. And I'm going to do a video on how I told my parents I was pregnant. And, um, oh, I'm also very excited. I'm going to do a video on my pregnancy progression, um, on my belly. So, yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video, although it's not that quick because it's over 10 minutes. But hopefully this one will upload. And, um, I am kind of breastfeeding here right now. So I'll show you guys a clip of her later, um, maybe when she's sleeping or when she's kind of calmed down and just hanging out. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.